Hello everybody, this is Jingo Bell Jam Fire by the CTM community. This is a quick fire map, which probably means it's very fast to do. Uh, there's 20 objectives required and zero bonus. It's an easy map, and this is for Minecraft 1.2.20.1. Alright. So, looking at the top of the screen there, dungeon 0 out of 20, 10 minutes, coin quota. Alright, so I think it's a time trial. Let's take a look here. Starter, start a loot. Ooh, that was pretty nice. Um, excuse the skin, uh, but that will just be my skin. Alright, so Jingle Bell Tunic, Projectile Protection, Irreparable, okay. Bell Jingler, Gemfire Pickaxe, Barrel Oblib Obliterator, excuse me, I can't speak. So you can't use this as a weapon. Zero attack damage, zero attack speed. Scaffolding and bread. Ah, oh, man, I I'm really bad at placing scaffolding down. I can't even place it here. Okay, info settings. Oh. Okay, quick fire 23, Jingle Bell Jam Fire by the CTM community, compiled by KVT. All right, 10 minute dungeon timer, magic clocks 30 seconds, coin rushes five minutes. I'm not really too sure what that means. So if you get these clocks, maybe that increases the time by 30 seconds. I don't know what the coin rushes mean though. Uh, gift difficulty. I'll just do quick fire in the middle. So I'm I'm guessing that means it's selected. Next page. Oh, it goes to twelve. Okay, right click. Your objective: collect the bells at the end of each dungeon and return them back to your spawn. Each bell is locked behind a set coin quota. So you have to collect coins in order to get the bells. Okay. Obtaining coins. There's one coin there, plus 10 coins, bigger one. Spawner shards and spawner gems will be your primary source of coins. They can be obtained in various ways. Okay. About time. Each dungeon has a set time limit magic clocks can be found to add more time running out of time results in the dungeon loss losing all coins from that dungeon okay so we need the 30 seconds magic clocks dungeon type standard default dungeon based dungeon timer okay coin rush every fourth dungeon no coin quota reduce time no loot mobs only coins Okay, so basically we're getting the coins as fast as possible. Coin gauntlet, final four dungeons, no loot mobs, high mob density, no coin quota, high coin density. So no loot slash mobs. I don't get it. No loot slash mobs, but there's high mob density. Might be a typo. My, uh, that might not be true then. I, I don't know. In typical CTM dungeons, you will ordinarily be faced with monster spawners, loot chests, environmental obstacles. Bonuses. After completing a dungeon, you have the opportunity to earn bonus multipliers to your coins. Plus 25% for deathless. Plus 50% for completions with 5 plus minutes left. Plus 1% bonus times highest spawner mining streak. So what's the point? Uh, what, what, why would we need coins after we complete a dungeon? Uh, novelties sub dungeons will have special area mechanics. That are announced in chat. 
Some blocks have cleaner drops, such as ores and bay, hay bales, bay hails. Monsters will drop more useful utility items, arrows, and void damage, and ignore invulnerability frames. On death, you keep items with drop objectives. So objectives, does that mean the, the lamp thing at the end? Monsters can drop rare golden consumables. You can also find powerful consumables. Giga items. Milestones, every 2000 bank coins grants all players one max health. Okay, nice. Slayer, every 50th mob kill full heals the player and grants all players golden apple buffs. Him milestone, after every coin rush, him unlocks more trades. I don't know who him is. Multiplayer, we're not doing that, but... Uh, Read that on your own. Rules, do not use commands that are disabled when cheats are disabled. Do not leave the overworld. Do not mine blocks in the monument. Do not modify the world's files. Do not make save states of the map. Okay, cool. It's good. Is there anything here? Anything to do here? All right, resource pack. Click here to down the resource pack. I think I have that already because of the, these things are already loaded. So I think that's fine. Return to monument. Okay. So we can't break, can't more like every, anything here. Uh, we cannot break these. So these are the, the blocks that we have to place down here, I think. So. This is 20 blocks, I believe. 8, 10. Uh, yes. <laughs> Anything on top of these? Maybe not. Just these. The chest, maybe just the base kind of thing. But yeah, they made these as well, so. It's a bell over there. Okay, shulker box station. What is this? I don't know what that means. Him. Oh, this is him. Okay. So, does that mean he gets better trades? Uh, if you... Let's go back to that. Just a second. Yeah, after every coin rush. Okay, so he gets better trades. All right. All righty. Let's just go and send it, shall we? Okay, how do we send it? Ah, here we go. Start next dungeon. Dreams by Kate. Area mechanics. Poison immunity, full damage immunity. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting little area here. Pots drop spawner shards. One coin. I have to do that. Okay. Barrels hold coins and be mined and can be mined with axes. Ah. Okay, there's some monsters here. Uh, well, do I just take that? And that's ten coins. What's the coin quota for this? Okay, what is this? Spawner shard? Oh, so when you break a spawner, it does... It drops some of those? Okay. Cool. This wood here, I don't know if we need any. Oh, I'll just mine it, just in case. Okay, chest cannot be mined with axes. Spawner shard worth one point. Magic clock. And block of quartz. Okay, so I've been wasting some time, but we'll catch up later. Uh, there's uh, some weird things here going on here. What is this? Do I do anything here?
What do I do here? Um, I am... Oh, okay, it's a... Uh, I see, jump. Okay. Okay, uh, there's a shard there. I guess that's how you get items. Oh, I'm using my axe. Magic clock, bow, nice, uh, there's some here, another jump pad, okay, that's why they gave us the bow. Where are you? Hello? Okay. Hay bales can be mined with axes. Okay. Ah, okay. Converts into bread. The sound is a bit high. Should be fine now. Magic clock. Spawner here. And another 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 chest. Okay. Uh I think this is where the other path leads to. There's coal here. I don't know if we need those. Oh. Makes those into torches. Okay, nice. Irreparable. Is this better than that one? Maybe. Bow here. I don't think I need the blocks. All right, uh, there should be, okay, that's where we were just before. And now we're just gonna, oh, oh, oh God, okay. I nearly dropped to my death. All right, so this is the way out. Okay, I nearly dropped to my death as well. There we go. Get out of here. Okay, my impeccable fighting skills coming into play. I still have 7 minutes and 50 seconds looking at the top bar. I have reached the coin quota. So that means, do I still need to collect stuff? Coins? I'm not sure. I completely forgot everything in the, in the start. Oh, that hurt. That spider dropped bread. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, nearly died there. There's a spawner coming out from here, yep. Magic clock. Put that in my bar. 
Okay. Ah, take it, take it, take it. Alright. Get that bread. I'm the breadwinner. Jump. Okay, I like I like this air level so far. And there's the cap to complete my collection. Boom. I'm now fully dressed. Magic clock. Okay. Chicken. That's way better. Still haven't used my scaffolding, which is a good idea. Um, because I don't like to place scaffolding. And it's gonna blow up? Okay. The damage done to me. Crossbow, I hate crossbows. Put that back. Jump. Oh, I'm getting into the rhythm. Okay, what is this? There's ice here, so maybe it's a shortcut. Uh, I see some blaze spawners. Oh, there's the objective, I think. So let me go here. Avoid that. Oh! Wait, that guy just got launched. Is that normal? Oh! What is going on with those blazes? Oh, I see an arrow. What does that mean? Leather... There's a chest over here. Oh, that's a spawner gem. Uh, here comes the scaffolding. I placed it the correct way. Alright, so this is the... How do I collect it? I picked up the objective, okay. Now, do I keep going up? Oh! Here it goes. I don't know how to place it back up. Okay, I, hopefully that went up. No. Um, yeah, so this is terrible. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I knew there was something up here. Sword axe, not four axe. That joke just flew over my head. Okay, let's go down. And follow the arrow, I guess. Whee! Where do I go? All the way to start, maybe? Mm, where do I go? Did I miss something? Um, hmm. Do I keep going down? No? Okay, I'm not even five minutes in and I'm lost already. Maybe I have to swim back up, maybe? I don't know. Oh. It's just gonna eat at my time of trying to find the exit. Uh, I don't know. I, I followed the arrow and the arrows failed me. So maybe I shouldn't follow the arrow next time. Overall, I uh, really like the starting area. It's dynamic. The, the mobs aren't too obnoxious. They don't take too long to, to kill. Alright, so where do I go? So, it's telling me to go down. But... 
So how far down do I have to go? So I'm guessing I'm going to, going to drop down. I've been there. Yes, I have. Oh, I missed some pot, pots and pans over there. I don't know, man. It's telling me, uh, it's leading me here. So I'm guessing we have to go out this way. Oh, okay. I have to place it here. Okay. Maybe, uh, that wasn't very, that wasn't very obvious. Now, how do I exit though? Okay. Yeah. That's not very ob obvious. Um, that you have to do that. I just randomly right clicked and I had to do it twice. So, yep. Now I know though, but yeah, I think some signs tell that tell the player what to do. Be good there. All right. So I placed the objective and I finished with two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So I guess that's fine. Uh, I don't know what these blocks symbolize now, because... I don't know. There's no new trades yet. I guess I placed my stuff down in here, just in case. Alright, so another dungeon. I'm gonna stop recording here. Hopefully this has been a good start. Well, this has been a very good start.